In this video, we are going to look at the drill down functionality in a Visual Insight Power BI, so let's get started. Let's say you want to have a column chart showing you the total sales according to different dates of sales, so you want to visualize your total sale according to a date column. In order to do that, the first thing that you will do is insert the visual that you want. We want to have a clustered column chart, so simply, we will click on a clustered column and it will be visual on our canvas. Let's expand this a bit as well. We need to insert a field in the values box. The first step that we need to do in our case would be the total sales amount, so I will bring my sales amount into the y-axis. Make sure that it is said the sum of sales amount, which means. This will give me one single column showing me the total sales amount. We want to break the single column into multiple columns according to my date of sale column. To do, so we will bring the date of sale into the x-axis, but before we do that, let's understand what is the difference between the date of sale and the rest of the columns. When it comes to the date of the sale. As soon as we load up data inside our Power BI, under the Data tab, you will see the date of sale along with a drop-down before it. If you click on the drop-down, you will see something called a big hierarchy. Let's increase the size of the field spill to have a look at it. Within the day. If I click on this, you will see four extra fields. Year, quarter, month, and day. This is basically Power BI smartness about grouping the data. If we go to the data tab and have a look at the date of sale, we have noticed how the data is actually individual dates. So we have individual date. It's not a year or not a quarter or not even a month. But what if you want to have a look at your data according to the months from January to December? How do you do that, without using Power BI, if Power BI wasn't so smart? You would have to use complex calculations formulas in order to get the month the quarter out of this column. But instead of doing something like that, the option of your quarter month is actually becoming more easy to use and is adding up to the convention. Now we can simply bring the date of sale into our x-axis, we will have the entire date hierarchy added to the axis. So we will be having the second level that day. If you notice, our visual has started to show up the data. We have the total sales column broken down into two columns. One is 2013 and other 2014. This is what we have in our data. So we currently are on the first level of a date of sale. This helps you understand what the total sales are for 2013 and the total sales for 2014. Using this visual, let's understand something called Drill Down. If you notice at the top of our visual, we have a few buttons. The second button is called Clipped to turn on Drill Down. Simply click on it to enable the function of Drill Down. What this will do, it will allow you to drill down into your data. Which means now we can simply click on 2013 to go within 2013. If I didn't have the selected, if I didn't have it turn on like this, in 2013 I would still remain on 2013, it would just be selected. But I wouldn't be able to see the data within 2013. But if we have my drill down option enable on that is the second button here, but we can simply click on 2013 and now it will lead me to the data within 2013 one level below it, we were on the early level data once we clicked on 2013. We moved down to quarter level within 2013. This is not my entire data, it is just the two quarters of the year 2013 which is very important to understand, because we right now not even looking at the 2014 years, we are only and only looking at the 2013. If you want to go further down the line, you can simply click on a quarter, it will proceed to the next level of data, which in this case is month, for example. If we simply click on quarter 4 now, we will be able to see all the months within the quarter October, November, and December according to the calendar. If you want to have a look at the individual days within a month, you can simply click on a column, let's say November. And there you go, now you have the data for the days within November. Similarly, you can click on 2014, in 2014. You have four quarters of data, click on quarter one and you will see January, February, and March. In the same, we can drill down to the months and to the days. From the drill down option we can drill down from year to quarter and from quarter month and from months to days, 
and from the drill-up option we can go from days to month, and from months to quarter and from quarter to years. In this video, we've covered the basics of drill-up and drill-down in Power BI. We've discussed what these techniques are, how to use them in Power BI, and the benefits they offer. With this knowledge, you'll be able to navigate through your data at different levels of detail and gain valuable insights that can help you make better decisions. So stay tuned, because in our next video, we will be covering advanced drill-down option, and don't forget to subscribe like and share with your friends.